Is your foaming agent up to par? Check the bubble wall toughness. In the world of foam concrete, the foaming agent is the unsung hero that significantly impacts the final product as quality, a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of evaluating a foaming agent is the toughness of the bubble walls it produces. Why bubble wall toughness matters? Bubble wall toughness is the backbone of foam performance. Imagine each foam bubble as a tiny balloon. The wall is its skin. If the skin is thin and fragile, it will burst easily during mixing, leading to an unstable foam concrete structure with compromised strength. A quality foaming agent creates robust bubble walls, akin to a strong suit of armor for the foam. These bubbles remain intact when mixed into the cement slurry, forming on a form network of closed air pockets. This structure not only keeps the concrete light, but also boosts its compressive strength. Testing compressive strength. Where science meets practicality, strength involves rigorous laboratory testing. Evaluating a foaming agent's compressive, researchers prepare standardized foam samples and subject them to compression tests using specialized equipment. This process records how the samples deform and rupture under increasing pressure, generating compressive strength curves for comparison. Results show that different foaming agents vary in compressive performance. Protein-based agents often provide better thermal stability and strength, while synthetic ones may excel in foaming capacity but lag in pressure resistance. Real-world applications beyond the lab. In real construction scenarios, the foaming agent's compressive strength is vital for functionality. For roof insulation, foam concrete must withstand wind loads and occasional foot traffic. Weak foam concrete can crack, reducing insulation efficiency. And structural integrity in ground backfill projects, it needs sufficient strength to bear upper structural weights. Studies indicate that foam concrete made with superior foaming agents meets these requirements, minimizing settlement and cracking risks. Selecting a foaming agent requires balancing multiple factors beyond foaming capacity. Consider these steps: e. Analyze components. Different agents have unique properties. Protein-based ones usually offer better compressive strength, while synthetic agents may foam faster and more stably. R. Review data and case studies. Check manufacturer RS test data and real-world application reviews to gauge performance in various conditions. S. Conduct pilot tests before large-scale use. Run small-scale trials and compressive strength tests to ensure the agent suits your specific needs. The foaming agent's quality directly impacts your foam concrete success. Prioritizing bubble wall toughness and compressive strength ensures your projects are both durable and efficient. If you're a passionate about construction, remember to like, subscribe, and enable notifications for more industry insights.